Welcome back to another video on this channel. Um, sorry I haven't like actually recorded anything for ages. I didn't realise it had been nearly been three months. I have uh, been going through lots of changes, as I'm sure we all have, but hopefully now I can get a lot more flow going back on with everything. So really what I wanted to, thought we'd do today is we do a question where we're going to kind of like look into more of the future aspect potentially of where things are. So even though I'm recording this in 2020, it's going to be active any time at all in 2021. So if you brought to this video later then, it's just going to be just as relevant. Um, and the question that we're going to ask is um, your 20 21 avatar reinvent yourself now for your most successful year so kind of it's not exactly a question it's more like a statement and then we're going to see what comes out but essentially I just thought we'd have a look at um I thought we'd have a look at well basically who are you going to become how are you going to be changing or how can you best change and what's the best way to success um by changing how you see yourself which therefore means that the world changes how it sees you so that's basically where we're going to go with this so i have three we have three options again the stones from our shamanic method. okay so one two three and then we're also just going to do a card for each so pile one, ooh, pile two, pile three. Okay, so just feel into yourself now and see which one you feel your answer is in. So is it in pile number one, which is message one? Is it in pile number two? Or is it in pile number three? So just use your own intuition, see what you get pulled to. You may get pulled to more than one, that's totally fine. Obviously, because I'm reading for a collective energy, I am going to try and basically just channel the specific energy that's coming in, but kind of tell you the filters that it could go through. So, for example, you could be different spectrums of this energy or it could play out in different areas of your life. But this will ultimately be kind of the themes and the vibrational frequency of what it is that you're working with. OK, so I will, let's go and do pile number one. Chose message number or power number one. This is your message. So first of all, let's have a look at the channeling. So okay, right. So the first thing that I'm getting with you guys is that essentially the way that your avatar, so you kind of the way that you present yourself to the world and even to yourself, the way that's going to get upgraded in 2021 and how you can work with it is that essentially there'll be something that you've been working on on like a deep first of all unconscious then subconscious then it's becoming conscious like you become already aware of a part of you that essentially I don't want to say is stuck but can never fully transform into the thing that you want it to be so whether that's something in your love life in your money in your friendship groups in your life purpose or even just in how you see yourself or your health it's something about this and you'll know which one because one of those words will stand out to you something about that is really actually going to go through the full transformation because what i'm seeing is i'm seeing the scorpio the scorpion turn actually into the phoenix so it's like you're actually going to go through that full entire process the thing with this though is and this is one of the things that's going to allow you to get to the success with it as well is appreciating that sometimes things don't come to a soul straight away or it takes a long time for a soul to gain a certain thing in physical reality is not because they're doing anything wrong it's not because they're not good enough it's not because of anything other than before they were born they chose as a soul to go on this pathway and the thing is like when pluto goes through like a sign like a house in each house it takes years and years something like 13 years or something it takes a very long time for it to go through that house and completely restructure that area of somebody's life and that's really what's been happening to you to do with whatever one of those themes stood out to you the reason why you have never fully attained in physical reality what you have really wanted to do with that area of life is just purely because you've actually been going on the most deepest like um 
it's like it's I know you kind of like this wine that in order to get to like its peak with that experience that it wants it's needed to go through the full maturation process and there's something about that maturation process which is going to come to a completion in 2021 and it's really really going to change how you see yourself and how the world sees yourself and therefore you will get a different reflection back to do with what any of those things are but one of the things to do with you having success to do with that and it actually comes through is this is not about anything wrong with you it's not about you not being good enough in any level it's not about the fact that you're damaged goods or you're broken on any level to do with any of those things it's just purely because this has been part of your hero's journey this was part of your hero's journey and you kind of needed to go through like these full like i'm getting like 12 steps 12 cycles i don't know why but like these 12 cycles of stuff for you to fully get to the peak to be that vibration so that you attract that thing and then when you attract that thing whatever it might have been it's going to be in like a real um higher state of consciousness that you receive it in and therefore the gifts that it brings will be epic but if it's not coming to you one of the things to be mindful of you know whenever you're watching this video is don't think that there's something wrong with you and that's why you haven't experienced it and the thing that my guys are just sort of flagging in this is just as a metaphor okay so make it fit to whatever is relevant to you but sometimes when people don't get into relationships or they find relationships really difficult and then they look at their childhood and they're like oh well I've had these experiences in childhood so I'm never going to really be able to do an actual proper relationship not true not true that is like a limiting belief that isn't relevant to what's been going on your soul decided to go on like a really long deep like transformative like enlightening process to do with whatever is one of these themes it's nothing to do with your past actually holding you back so if it might have been a health complaint you had a long time ago or you never got friends or you've never known what you wanted to do it's not that there's anything in your past that's then stopping this manifesting for you it's just purely the fact that it's like an actual and I don't usually like to use this word but it's one way of saying it, it's like a divine timing to it but that divine timing is also part of your timing because on a deeper level you knew that this was going to take like a long transformation process and you were kind of up for the adventure of it but you know the way for you to get success is absolutely to realize that this is part of the process and it needed to happen like this so that you can really mature in all the ways that you'll need to be to receive that um, exaltated manifestation of whatever it is that you want so the way to success like I say is just to make sure that you don't um, don't get stuck in thinking that oh um, you know I haven't I haven't got this because there's something wrong with me or this happened to me in my past or something like that like that way of looking at things needs to completely like you need to revolutionize that um, and this is what 2021 will help to do but you can also start to do this now whenever you listen to this video it's just one of those things just to be aware of but anyway now let's go in and look at the cards so here we get buying I'm sorry I don't know the light here is a bit weird there we go I think you can see it now okay so obviously the first words I'm getting this is like transactional and this for me is bringing into what we're saying about how um, your this new avatar this new way of looking at things for 2021 to do with whatever this theme is or just anything in general is actually realizing it's not about anything transactional if I do this I get that if I am good at this I get that good thing back if I am bad at this I get this bad thing back like that's a complete um that is going to completely hold you back to success in 2021 in your relationships and your work and your money and whatever because actually it's not about anything being transactional anymore that that is not something that is, um, you know, you can work as hard as you want, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to receive what it is that you want, because there'll be a timing to everything that's going off. And actually as well, I can see the clock in the background. I don't know if you can see that. And that also is just making me feel like, um, yeah, there is a timing. There is a timing to what's going off for you in 2021. And I'm also really getting that it's really important that you start um, listening. You've got to really listen to what people are saying to you 
and but also listen to how you talk to yourself as well because there's something about that that means that you will understand when you're tripping yourself up or when you're about to um it's almost like your communication, the way that you're communicating with yourself or the way you'll be communicating with other people, it needs to change. Instead of, it's almost like I'm getting transactional with your communication as well. Like, oh, if I say this in a certain way, then I'll get this as a response back. So that's what I'll do. And it's more like, instead of thinking, all right, if, instead of overthinking how you're going to say certain things or what you're kind of going to do, it's more about trying to really, really hear what is going on around you and hear inside how you're feeling about what's going on around you. And then you'll know what to say or what to do so that actually you reap the rewards of whatever this thing might be. There's something about that that's really important. But once again, divine timing is really key too. So now... We're going to use two lots of tarot. Let's just see. Whoa. Okay. Actually, just spread these out a little bit. And then we're going to use an abstract lot of tarot. Wow, it's flipping out straight away. The moon. I know that's not a Scorpio, but I don't know if you can see it here. It's actually, I think it's a crayfish. Um, I'm sorry, these lights are just, sorry, I can't work out quite how to do this at the moment. Um, and also the moon, you see all of this really reminds me about what I was saying about this like scorpionic deep transformation. I can really, really feel that. But I, I don't feel like this is not something that you have to think, oh my God, more healing, more hard work, something like that. It's really not about that. It's more just about... Um, think as well it's more like as well with this communication thing the way your avatar can really give you success in the future and you upgrade is it's like it's like really really starting to become aware of like human psychology but not by reading by just really listening and paying attention to what's going on around you like the people around you what they're saying what they're doing and also what your intuition is telling you about that as well like I feel like for some of you um you have potentially misread people or situations to do with whatever this theme was that we were talking about right so it's this theme that hasn't really quite ever got to what you've wanted in physical reality and it's gone on and on and on for a real long period of time without you reaching the conclusion of it whatever that theme is I feel like there's a part of you that hasn't really fully 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 been able to um uh sort of like really perceive what's been going on underneath the surface to do with the people around you that are related to do with that and there's something about that that's really really important so yeah it's um let me just pull all these out now otherwise we can go on and on and on and i just i want us to get going so one second let's just see so Okay, let's have a look. Will we read reverse? No, we're not reading reverse for this. Okay, so seven of swords, six of swords. So we've already got the moon. Then we have the daughter of flames. We have the eight of coins. Have winter. And here we have, oh, summer. So funny. And Venus. Okay, so just give me a moment. Just let me feel into this energy. See your 2021 avatar. Okay, yeah, so it's kind of obviously what we've been saying as well. You're definitely, this the way that your avatar will give you more success is it's definitely about um, letting go of things that feel heavy within your life in whatever way that might be. And it's going to start really on the way that you really are interacting with other people or other people interact with you. So on the most basic level, obviously your avatar upgrade will help if you start to attract people around you that are more in alignment with where it is that you want to go, right? And there's something about that that's really important but in order for you to get that I think you've really 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 got to be honest with yourself about about 
really why certain people are in your life, really why they're in your life, and actually, are they actually um, taking from you, or are they deceiving you in some way, are they deceiving you in some kind of way, kind of like we have with always the seven of swords, or, you know, are they actually supportive and helping you on your journey, like the six of swords, and I think it's really, really, you've really, really got to try and be honest about this with yourself, and I do think for some of you, it will mean, it will mean a bit of a shedding, a shedding of certain people, or, you know, it might just be that you need to, um, put people in different brackets, right? So you might still want to have certain people in your life. It's just that you might need to put them almost into a different bracket of how you see them um, supporting you or interacting with you in your life. So it's kind of getting really, really clear about that. Um, it's about getting really, really clear about that. And that's really, really important. And the other thing is as well, is as you suddenly start to which you will just naturally be doing is like really being changing your deep psychology to do with certain whatever these themes are relative to you in your life you will just find naturally that some people will be more relevant to you and some people will be less relevant to you and it is just about kind of going along with that the other thing that you need to be really mindful of with the moon being right bang in the middle of your reading is that it will be really really important and we've already talked about the scorpio energy which comes into this anyway is you've got to be trusting your intuition You've got to, you've absolutely got to be trusting your intuition and your own psychic senses and abilities because so often what goes off when we get communication with other people anyway is, um, oh my God, there's so much going on. Obviously more than what somebody's saying, more than their body language, more than their eye movements, more than the words that they're using. There is like the whole energy sphere of what's going off. And honestly, for me, like, you know, sometimes when two people come together and talking, it's like suddenly both energy fields are connecting in. And that's why when you're psychic, you'll suddenly be like, oh my God, that we had this past life and it was to do with this, this and this. Or you'll suddenly be like, oh my God, they have lied to me about this, this and this. Or, oh my gosh, they actually feel like this about me. Like all of these sort of things are available um, when you're actually open to that almost more deeper penetrating part of you that can really almost have x-ray vision to not only somebody's human self but their soul self and that's something that I can really see that your avatar is going to start to be doing but this will be the thing as well as you start to do that externally right it's you're going to start to do that more internally and this is why I think it's really important that you make sure you find the balance because actually as well we've got like and I think it's really funny we had the winter card here and the summer card here, when you start, you know, when these sort of like your, I don't know, you could say spiritual self, your spiritual self awakens more, or like you get more psychic or intuitive or whatever, you, as well as you being able to see other things around you, you'll also be able to see stuff to do with yourself, and obviously everything is duality, good and bad, whatever, and you really have to make sure that you don't, don't try and hide from stuff, that's coming up to do with yourself that you don't maybe like or don't want to acknowledge. The best way is to actually kind of like, um, you need to look at it head on and kind of deal with it because that's where you'll find the transformation as well. And the quicker and the easier you find it to look at things within yourself that the universe and life is flagging up as something for you to change, right? Um, the more you don't take it personally and you don't think bad on yourself or you don't feel bad on yourself because obviously that's non-relevant like we talked about in the very beginning the more that you can just see it as almost just like um, actually this is where then you can just see it as a transaction right this is where it would be useful for you to just see that kind of information as transactional all right so I've just realized that I have an issue to do with whatever and then you can just, instead of having a reaction to it, you can be like, all right, okay, so what do I need to do to change that so it's no longer an issue? Cool, I'll just do that. And it's kind of, you need to have that kind of transactional kind of way of looking at things to do with yourself, the shadow sides, because also the moon can be a very shadow energy too. So when you look at things in that kind of shadow way, in that kind of shadow side, you'll find that you'll actually be able to um, start moving forward through things rapidly. And also this is something about you having that approach that will be really liberating to yourself, because I feel like quite a lot of you that picked up this pile, you will be really really hard on yourself just so hard on yourself about stuff and 
you know, when you do that, you just really start to like dampen down all of like your amazing energy, like you're kind of like courageous, inspiring, passions, creativity, all of that kind of thing. Because that's really, you can really see that in this card here. But interestingly, this card is what I'd call stuck on this side here, which is all quite a bit heavier, like the winter card, the seven of swords, you know, and it's kind of getting dampened down. Whereas if you can start to change the way that you view these things within you, so you don't even see them as a big deal, you just see them as, all oh, right, okay, I don't know why I'm getting this image, but I'm getting this. Okay, so I'm putting on my clothes today. Oh, that kind of like blue doesn't really go with that lime green. No worries, I'm just gonna change the lime green. I'm going to put on pink it would just be something so simple like that like when you go into a shop and you're kind of like matching up clothes or whatever and you're like oh yeah I like this and I like that oh but they don't go together or that doesn't actually work okay so I'll just do it like this cool I like it like that yeah I'm buying that done let's go it's kind of like having that kind of approach to the deeper parts of your own psychology and the way that you're looking at also people in your life and what they're doing and what they're saying and what they're not saying and then how you are readjusting how you respond as a result to what you are actually really seeing in others that's going to also help bring out this huge amount of transformation and my guides are saying is that because ultimately it's going to do something where it's going to give you a huge amount of um you're going to feel way more confident in yourself and you're going to start having you guys will be trusting yourself and having faith on many levels but it's just like it's going to go up to another kind of level um and also the thing is See, this is the eight of coins, so um, this is like the eight of pentacles, so it's often known as like that working energy, so, that, um, so when you're working on something. I just really want to be clear with you, when you start to look at yourself in this kind of way, when it's more like going into a shop, matching up things, putting down what doesn't go, getting the next thing and being like, yeah, cool, I'll buy that, take it, done. When you start really applying that a lot more to your life, so being a lot more sort of, kind of fluid and dynamic and creative with many different aspects, particularly the ones that we talked about or the ones that flagged up for you earlier, um, it isn't going to feel like work. It's going to feel like... It's going to feel like you're sculpting yourself, like you're a piece of art, like it's a craft. Work, when you would do stuff like that, is going to feel like a craft rather than like heavy and weighing you down, okay? And this is the summer card, so this is where we're going into that nice summer energy. So that's something for you to really be mindful of. And I think that's also something that would be useful for you to consider to do with your avatar upgrade. And this will go into things beyond what we've talked about now. So whatever is, you know, whatever is your day-to-day -day routines, whatever is your kind of... Um, whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve throughout 2021 like the best way for you to achieve this is to not see it as work is to see it as a craft is to see it as something that you are literally like we talked about in the beginning like how transformation like pluto can often be in a somebody's house for like 13 years or something like that a really really long time it's like a, that in the same way you know crafts it's something that you you know, you sort of learn over a certain amount of time and then you have so many different experiences with it that actually it kind of refines you and refines you like that kind of wine that we talked about as well. And if you can apply that kind of psychology to so many areas of yourself and your life um, throughout 2021 and even before and even after, you will find as well that, I keep getting pulled back to this card here, this buying card, you will just find that as well now I'm seeing that the universe then is just going to be able to, um, is just going to be able to give you so much more, give you so much more, because there's something as well um, with the I'm getting two different things here as well with this like the working hard part or the like you know things feeling heavy when you're going through them whatever that might be it's really just important to realize that that um if you work really really hard on whatever it might be your own self-growth a job a relationship I don't know your health whatever it might be that is great right because we're all told it's really good to work hard and it is to a certain extent because that's energy that you're putting into that direction and where your energy goes your intention goes energy flows all of that kind of stuff so that is awesome but you've got to also remember that there's this like balancing act and once again I really feel this balancing act with the winter and the summer card there really is this balance, balancing act about um, 
look, if you work really hard to the point where it starts to feel draining to you or you start to get real attachments on what it is that you're working for or even you could even get fears or I think it just actually the fears come through the expectations which come through the attachments. So yeah, if you're thinking more like, you know, you're either draining yourself because you're working so hard or you're essentially so fixated on the outcome that you're working towards, all of these things kind of make things feel really, really heavy. And this can be this Scorpio energy as well. And when things get really, really heavy, it can actually stop things, the energy go like the energy flowing essentially, and you can start to lose balance. And that's just something I think to be really mindful of. Like balance is really, really, really important for you to achieve your most throughout 2021. You've got to be able to set your own internal rhythm that allows for you to be both basically um, good and bad, and it doesn't matter, it won't affect anything, because it's getting rid of that mindset, um, and, but then at the same point, it's getting that balance between like when to work hard and when to relax off, when to keep going at something and when to back off something, it's like finding the rhythms of things is really, really important, and I don't really know why that's coming out so strongly, but it is, and as well, like we haven't really mentioned this so far, but this is a really important one, <laughs> this is Venus and I think it's really interesting that Venus is straight after summer okay um, and I just kind of feel like just one second it's coming through Your avatar, who you are, what you tell yourself, don't allow yourself to um, be, de don't deceive yourself that you're not who it is that you would be if you had what it was that you wanted. Because the thing is, you are already that. It's just that you don't recognise it. And you don't recognise it because I think you have been really working on yourself on some level or you've been working really hard on something like whether it was a job or a business or a goal or a relationship or a part of your own self-growth or your health. There's something about it. You've, you've been working on it so hard for so long. And also, life has brought you up lots of stuff to do with this over a long number of years. Like, like I say, a really big cycle, like even 13 years, right? So it's understandable that you've kind of got into that cycle of kind of like oh god this is like I just have to keep going and diving deeper and diving deeper and diving deeper and diving deeper that kind of thing and actually I think what you need to be mindful of is stop you've got everything that you need to know if you dive any deeper you won't gain any more resources that will help you get where it is you want to go what you need to almost do is have more time to just stop and be still and reflect on everything because it's more about you know coming up to the surface rather than diving deeper and my guys keep showing me this image of like scuba divers like you've been diving down so long for so long it's almost like you don't actually know which way is up again now because it's got so dark where you are because obviously you've gone so low down in the water um but obviously what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pause and you're supposed to breathe out and you're supposed to see where the bubbles go. And whichever way the bubbles go, you know is up. And sometimes this can be super disorientating because you might be like, oh my God, but I, that may, I thought I was going up, but I'm actually going down. But I daren't go the opposite way because, oh no, now I'm so confused. But the bubbles are saying I need to go that way. And that's this thing as well. You know, I talked a little bit about the faith and the faith coming in even more. I think it's you having the faith to almost stop what you're doing, stop going so deep, start, start going in the direction that you really want to go in, which is so much lighter, just like the bubbles. You know, the right direction for you is the direction that's lighter, that's almost like lifting those bubbles that will lift you out of it. And this is really, really important because in order for Venus to really come into your avatar, which I'm telling you, you so want, because Venus is love, money, um, 
pleasure, luxuries, just all of these Venusian amazing things that actually make living on Earth enjoyable and awesome. In order for those kind of things to come into your life, you absolutely do have to start traveling in the lighter direction, whatever that might be. And don't get stuck in that self-growth cycle or don't get stuck in working really, really hard on a certain project or working really, really, really hard on a relationship that maybe isn't coming to, it isn't really changing. Like definitely just pause, stop, breathe and see which way the bubbles go right metaphorically see which way the bubbles go and they're going to go in the lighter direction and your soul will tell you what is the best way to move forward that will be in the lightest direction but you do also need to um have that as an intention when you're stopping and you're pausing in those moments some parts in 2021 or now or in the future 2022 it doesn't really matter like You've got to have the intention, okay, I'm stopping and I'm pausing. Okay, life and my soul, which is the lighter direction? How do I start to move back up to the surface where I can breathe easier and all of these kind of things and I can see the sunlight? What is it that I need to do? And then pause and whatever you get, those are the directions you need to go. And my guides are saying that for some of you or for quite a lot of you, it's going to feel like, um, it's actually going to feel counterintuitive the guidance that your soul is going to give you a bit like you know obviously the scuba diver when they think they're actually going up but they're actually going down it's only the bubbles that tell them they need to go the other direction you know there's something about it that might seem disorientating for you but you know that's when you just have to trust and the cool thing is as well there'll be something about it which means you just have to trust some practical logical way of looking at whatever is going on in your situation because it will back that up because pretty much like the scuba diver knows okay look logically there is only one way the bubbles can go up or go in a certain direction it's because they're going up to the surface up to the surface of the sea so no matter what i think is going on or what illusions i might be trapped in of how i'm looking at things because the moon card can be very much um, a card of illusion illusions as well um whatever I think is going on, let me just be practical here, the only way that bubbles are going in that direction is because that is the direction to the surface, so I can trust physical physics and reality in that way and go in that direction. So now I just want to uh, just pull two more cards. So first one, I'm going to read out of this book because I friggin love the messages that they do in this. And then the last one, I'm just going to actually pull um, an archetype card for you. And this is for you, your wild card. You channel it yourself and see what you get. OK, so first of all, we're going to go with this. So additional messages on top of everything else, for what you need to know to enhance your avatar for 2021. Let's see what does power one need? Let's have a look. Oh, no way. The Uncharted Sea. <laughs> All right, I do find it really funny. You know how we've been talking about the sea and scuba diving. Just think it's funny. Anyway, let me just read it out of the book and you just listen to every word and start using like this deep, this, um, like I said about here, the listening, really, really listening to the words that are coming out and how it makes you feel inside and what this means for your reality around you. Like really, that's like really t get uh, in touch with those deep, like psychic kind of deeper X-ray vision that we all kind of have. So let's see, so 46. Okay, so it says the Uncharted Sea. So the key concepts are stepping into the unknown without a map, moving beyond your comfort zone, choosing to do things differently, trusting in the ebb and flow of life, be, being in the dark and letting curiosity lead and the faith that all will be well. Your comfort zone is sometimes exactly that, a safe, familiar harbour you finally come to in yourself. You have a sense that you don't need more than what is available right where you've landed in life. Now, however, is not one of those times. Like the archetypical hero's journey, no way, we mentioned the hero's journey, the universe is inviting you to step into uncharted waters. Something is stirring, adventure is calling. You may want to resist this urge because it will involve leaving your comfort zone, but embarking on this journey is essential for your well-being. 
Navigating the uncharted aspects of yourself means you won't have a map because no one else has ever been there. On this journey, you cannot rely on the help you would typically expect from others who have gone before you. This new territory is yours to explore. You're invited to be a pioneer, a pathmaker, a magical cartographer who draws your map with your own life force as the ink. This is the day to dive into a novel experience and fully immerse yourself in the new. You don't know what this sea of possibility has in store for you, so stay curious and refrain from judgment or the need to label. Give yourself the time and freedom to be curious without the limitations and boundaries projected by your memories or expectations. Oh my God, that's exactly what we're saying about the past, not bringing that in. You are in an amazing place right now and you will never be the same for surveying these waters. I think that's really, really interesting because, you know, this really is as well, I think, about this fact that you are going to be going into this, like like I say, the culmination of a 13-year or potentially, you know, a long, long time period of something you've tried to been creating in your life that, that has never actually manifested is really going to be coming into fruition. Um, and that will be completely new for you and it will be completely uncharted water. And the truth is, for 2021, it's going to be uncharted water for the whole of collective consciousness anyway because we are literally right at the very end of December we're starting a whole new 20 year cycle and 200 year cycle in a completely different energy than what we've ever had before going from more of like the earth energies to more of the air energies um, when we're going into this Aquarius energy so you know this is something that everybody will be experiencing anyway but absolutely this is something which will really be able to catapult you guys that chose this in particular but like I say pay attention to all of the little things that we talked about now I'm just going to pull an archetype card this is for you to interpret in whatever way you want to or whatever messages come out so let's just see message one that's for you guys <clears throat> okay so you get prints so i'm just going to leave that there it says light attribute romantic charm and potential for power and the shadow attribute using power for self i can't even say that word a grand a grand a grandsment not sure anyway <clears throat> Cool, so I hope that was useful for you. Um, yeah, just, uh, I know that went on for quite a long time, but it felt like there was quite a lot coming up. And also, I always knew with this stone, I could, because one of my guides like, this is power one, choose this one. And you know what was really special about this one for me? When I was trained um, as a shaman, I, I, it was kind of weird how it happened because I never actually planned to. I just got invited on it out of the blue from nowhere. Um, and this was the stone that my shamanic teacher gave me um, on completion of the entire program. Um, so I just know everything about that shamanic journey for me was unpredictable. Like I didn't choose it, like just life put it on me just all of like one evening out of the blue, out of nowhere. It was nothing that I planned, but it completely changed my whole trajectory. And um, it was absolutely vital for actually helping me be who I wanted to be and all of these kind of things. So I know whatever is coming with your 2021 avatar, it's super powerful. And it's almost maybe something that you won't expect as I completely didn't expect. So um, cool. Anyway, you can check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I will leave my links there. I post psychic stuff there. And I also have another YouTube channel, See It Like a Psychic. Because we talked a lot about um, Scorpio energy, I think you actually might find the video, The Highest Potential of the Scorpio Archetype, really useful. And also my guides are flagging up that and to do with getting into the flow and not getting too stuck in a Scorpio way, it might be useful for you to also look at the highest potential of the Pisces Archetype too. So I'll leave those there as well. But other than that, um, thank you for letting me read for you and see you on another video. Bye.
Hi guys, so this is for everybody that chose pile number two um, and this is your message for about upgrading your avatar for 2021. So let's just see. So first of all, we'll just feel into this. Okay. Okay, so instantly what I'm getting with this is I'm getting the words um, showing up and I'm getting the words of like being first, being on show, um, limelight. I'm really getting this energy of kind of like, um, it's like the archetypal energy of Aries and Leo coming together. So the Aries archetype is wanting to be at the front, they're wanting to be first, they're wanting to engage with life. And then the same way, the Leo is also wanting to engage with life, but kind of Leo is wanting to engage with life by kind of like being at the center of, um, being at the center of a whole load of energy, of a whole load of creativity, of a whole load of people and something like that. So I really feel like for everybody that chose this pile, um, the way that your avatar is going to, your own identity is going to change and it's going to get, going to get upgraded um, is because you're going to be way, way more in the limelight. You're going to be way, way more um, assertive, confident, proactive, engaging. It's kind of like I'm getting images of like somebody that wants to be like first in the queue to buy a new iPhone. This is just metaphorically, right? And I'm also getting the vision of like somebody who wants to be at the theatre but wants to be right on the front row. And I'm also getting... I know not all of you will get what pantomimes are, but in the UK we have pantomimes at Christmas, and that's where the the like the actors on the stage always engage with the audience, and it's kind of like you're somebody who wants to be like right at the front, so there's a really good chance that those actors are going to be engaging with you. It's almost like it's like the energy of wanting to be in the party, in the moment, involved with everything. And that's what I'm really, really getting. Um, I can tell instantly for some of you guys as well that have chosen this is this is not going to be 100% comfortable for you. <laughs> I think maybe you might be a little bit like me where like you like, love getting involved in stuff, but you don't necessarily that bothered about having like loads of like eyes on you. Whereas there's something about your 21, 2021 20, avatar that's going to bring a lot of eyes on you. Um, and I'm getting that it's because it's kind of like... Um, it's a combination of things really. It feels like because in some ways you're kind of coming out of your shell um, and, and it kind of feels like um, there's something that you're gonna be pushed or pulled to do because of, because of what you've experienced actually over 2020. So I'm kind of getting for some of you people like you might have really enjoyed being a hermit and that's something that you really, really enjoyed. But then 2020 became such a hermit moment that you were just like, oh my God, I just need to get an hour out, out at some point. And definitely I see that more towards like the second half of 2021. Um, you know, I feel like there's something that's going to really make you feel like, no, no, now I really do want to engage with people and I want to be part of a tribe. Um, there's something about that. Or if you're somebody that's already somebody that really likes to kind of be engaged with people, it's kind of like you're just going to feel really good to kind of be getting that energy back. But because you've had time to reflect a lot or even if you won't realise you have, you've reflected a lot over 2020 because of that lack of kind of engagement, as it were, um, it's actually mean that when you do go back to re-engage properly, it, you're going to be kind of doing this in like a, in a sort of a new way. It's almost like, it's almost like you're going to be more sensitive to things, but in a way that's actually going to build connections and collaborations on a deeper, more fulfilling level. It's kind of what I'm getting. So let's just see what we get here. Flying. Ooh. So, sorry, I know these cards shine a little bit. Um... You see, this is making me feel the thing that I've felt before about how for quite a lot of you to kind of be in the limelight or to be centre of stage or to be really saying yes to life a lot is going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but my guides are really saying this, that if you do feel it's uncomfortable and you resist it, life is just going to bring moments to you in 2021, which is going to almost like 
mm, force you to have to engage and that kind of thing. So it'll be far more nurturing and empowering for you if you just decide that you will start saying yes to a lot of life and you will start engaging with life so much more. Um, Cause I'm kind of getting as well that it's like, you, um, you're, you're old, you know, the, the old avatar, the old part of you that is no longer going to be useful in 2021 is definitely got this kind of like hermiting vibe and it's kind of like wanting to feel safe in a cave or, you know, there's certain situations, I mean, you might not be like that in all areas of your life, but there'll be at least one area of your life where you're kind of like in a bit of a cave to do with it. So it could be socializing, it could be romantic partners, it could be work, it could be business, it could be your passions, it could be your leisure time, you know, it could be anything, it could be your health. It's just an area of your life where you kind of basically, you don't feel that confident or at least you feel a bit repressed. So you don't really feel like you can feel confident enough or free enough to, to be who you really are in those situations. And there's something about that that you're, that is going to change. It's going to be changing in 2021. And it's going to be absolutely upgrading your avatar and how you see yourself and how life also sees you as well. Um, and therefore, because you see yourself differently and life sees yourself differently, stuff is going to radically change and I do kind of see that things are kind of radically going to change and I really feel this as well that like um somebody or something is going to come out of nowhere when you least expect it and they're kind of like a guardian angel and that guardian angel basically is they you'll know you'll recognize them because they're seriously encouraging you to either do something or have some kind of confidence in yourself at a pivotal moment in 2021 so i just want you to know that that support is absolutely going to be there for you um because I do really feel like you are definitely going to be getting out of your comfort zone with 2021 and life's encouraging you to do this because, um, because, well, because really like this thing, it's time for you to fly, it's time for you to experience something specific which you've never experienced before but it's really really important to not only your growth but it's something connected into collective consciousness so by you doing this it sort of has a knock-on effect somehow within some community within collective consciousness and I know that might sound a bit abstract but it's almost like um you it's either like something like you know if it's a relationship family type thing it's kind of like you're gonna by you getting out of your comfort zone and becoming this new sort of person or whatever it might be or responding differently and and willing to put yourself up front and be the center of attention you're actually doing something which is healing your ancestral patterns because it's something about how then your family that's around you sees you it, it does some kind of liberating thing for them also or it could be that something like you're um going to be something in the work environment and once again because you do something and you do it in such a way which um, shocks people a little bit but they also know that that's part of who you are because it feels authentic they also feel inspired to be authentic and do the same thing or it could be like you're growing a following on um, a social media channel for something to do with something right um something like that is what i can really feel so let's see i actually feel like your cards are coming out quite different to power one so that'll be interesting we're not going to read reversals like we didn't for power one either way too many you see this is the thing as well i do feel like there is going to be sudden changes that happen for you both on like an internal psychological level and on a physical reality level it's like the two things are going to match up almost at the same sort of time um right let's see what we have so we have oh the grace card divine grace Oh, nice. Love this card. This is love. Then we have, oh, wow, Ace of Coins. Yeah, this is a thing. Something really new is coming in for you. Seven of Swords. Interestingly, Power One also had Seven of Swords. And Eight of Wands, again, like I say, for sure, 
there is something rapidly changing within you, how you see yourself and how the world sees you. And it's going to happen fast and suddenly. But I do think it's because it's been quite an incubation period, particularly for you guys in 2020. So I don't know exactly what will have happened because it's different for all of you. But there's definitely been something that's been brewing over in your psychology. And, and I really get this feeling. It's like you actually do want to get out in the world now. And you do really want to express yourself to do with something that you've held back over a long time. So whether that's really how you feel about somebody or if that's like really what you need to say in your working environment or share the knowledge that you have or I don't know, it could be so many things, but it's kind of like 2020 has been a, um, an incubation period of you kind of like sitting with this and almost I feel like you've been um, a little bit like this person, you've been quite apprehensively like toing and froing with it a lot over 2020, but come 2021 or even before, depending on how active you feel how much you're willing to put yourself out there remember because that's what we channeled in the very beginning about really putting yourself out there and being front being on show depending on how much you're willing to do that depends how how fast this will come in essentially but it's going to happen regardless then we have father of coins that's king of pentacles oh and we have six of coins Six of coins for me is always the give, receive, share and grow card. So this really makes me think again. It's so important like you actually getting yourself out there and putting yourself on show in some way, even if it's, you know, you're bearing your heart to another person that you've held out on or if it is like you, like I say, expressing your gifts to do with something within a greater context like social media or even expressing something within the family unit, which is really, really important. But it really is a time for you to do that in 2021 and it's going to increase your confidence and it's just going to make you feel, it's going to make you feel like you you know everything about this I just see um, is that like you becoming you you becoming more you and then we have here um, Earth and Saturn so let me just have a feel into all of this and see what we get so your 2021 20, avatar I mean, what's really pulling out as well is instantly this thing here is, this is as well really about you, um, you, you being an authority of yourself, you really being an authority of yourself. And um, it's not about, you know, I'm getting this thing as well. It's about letting go of a part of you that's maybe rebelled a bit as well in the past do with kind of showing up in some way. So it's an interesting kind of rebellion. It's not necessarily that you have um, rebelled necessarily against an authority or a person, although you might have done, but what I'm really feeling for the majority of you, it's like you've rebelled against a part of you that really was an authority, that really needed to come out and show itself as an authority. And I know that might sound a little bit abstract, but it's like, um, let me just see if I can give you an example. Um, okay, the easiest example is this. It's kind of like, and this is a metaphor, remember? This is a total metaphor. You have never wanted to, um, I don't know, see, it's like, wait a second, what am I going to all right, okay, yeah. So basically, it's this example that essentially let's imagine that you're somebody that has an issue with an authority and you really don't like being told what to do whatsoever. Um, and so you always rebel against people telling you what to do, right? Often it works out well, sometimes it doesn't, but whatever, that's you. Now, this is the deeper thing that's going on, really. The thing is, until you stop rebelling against that external authority, you won't stop rebelling against your own authority and your own authority needs to really come out now because this allows you to either say what it is that you need to say, to express your feelings in a genuine way, to share your knowledge in a genuine way, to literally engage with life and engage with life, like we said in the beginning, like, you know, um, you know, really wanting to be part of something bigger and being at the forefront of it. In order to be able to do that and live life like that, it's important that you actually look at, um, 
making sure that you don't have resistance to do with authority figures and my guides say the first way that this often comes in is through childhood right being told what to do and having issues around that or you know having parents bring you up that maybe didn't really get authority either so there's always like this uh, wounded thing to do with authority but the thing is in order for you to really be receiving all of the blessings that i really 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 in so many ways see coming in for you guys in 2021 is you've really really got to be your own authority and you've got to either be an authority of your feelings and express how you really feel to someone or about something or you really need to start putting yourself out there in some kind of way so that other people can gain from your wisdom and your expertise um or you really need to start to really um you know take the lead in your family or an ancestral patterns in a completely new way where you are an authority and you you do this in a loving kind compassionate way there's something about that that's kind of really really important so just fill in the blanks where is the one that made sense to you but it's definitely your new avatar in 2021 no longer rebels internally against things to do with yourself and actually it allows that inner authority of you to come out and you see when that comes out you'll actually find you get a lot of abundance and blessings because like the king of um uh, the king of pentacles and also the eight of Pen ace of pentacles eight of pentacles is the opportunity and it's so interesting so you've got the first ace which is the opportunity sorry about that my battery just went but anyway what i was just saying is what i find really interesting is um you have the first ace oh sorry the first pentacle and you've also got the last pentacle the father of coins so i feel like there's going to be like a <sighs> There's going to be a complete cycle of um, of of taking advantage of opportunities that come through and doing it wisely and with authority, which is going to bring you, um, which is going to bring you. Um, committed stable resources or people or relationship or something like that but it all comes from you first of all taking advantage of the opportunity that presents itself and the opportunity that was going to present itself it all starts with you being an uh, being an authority for how you really feel or what you really say and actually being able to express that and, and not rebelling against um, not rebelling against your own feelings about something or rebelling against your own actions to do with something that's really really important and it's definitely as well about not hiding away like you know the universe let you do all the hiding away that you wanted to in 2020 and it's given you lots of time to reflect but it's really really important that you'll be engaging and getting out there and kind of doing all of that kind of thing and, and like I say I do really feel like whether you whether you take the initiative to do it yourself, okay, or not, I just think life is just going to push you to do it. I really just feel like it's going to happen. Um, but as always, right, if you do it yourself, you'll find way more flow. It'll be so much easier um, and there'll be so much less resistance. If you wait for life to push you, it probably will be because there's been a lot of pressure in that area of your life. Um, and, you know, it will it will force you to like um, almost it will do like that whole kind of like um, Uranian kind of um, Aquarius like bolt of lightning like boof. It will cause some dramatic incidents so that it forces you to have to either express and be honest about how you're really feeling or take the action that you need to or whatever. So I think it's really important if you can is that you really start to get on board with whatever it is. And like I say, you'll feel inside already what it is that you know that you need to really look at taking authority for. And I'll just go through them again. So it could be a relationship dynamic, expressing to somebody how you really feel. It could be a family ancestral dynamic to do with, once again, really expressing how you feel, what you see, and how you think you can practically go about changing this, both you and them. It could be something in the work environment. So like you really... Um, 
saying what it is that you keep wanting to say but you've always been intimidated to say or putting yourself forward for something with more responsibility that you wouldn't usually do or it could be something with a creative project or um, kind of like a life purpose project where it is you actually going an extra mile of putting yourself out there in the community of whatever it is that your thing is to do with um so whether that is like setting up a social media account or a website to do with something to do with your passion project or whatever it might be you know it's like taking some authority on that kind of level and it could also be a plethora of those it could also be something to do with your health and your fitness okay so yeah just feel into what it is originally for you but i do see um whatever's going to happen what i love about this reading is this on one side we have the grace card and on the other side we have the love card so it really really feels like you are absolutely going to be divinely protected in whatever you're doing and so no matter how nervous you feel about showing up and um, being an authority about whatever this is showing up and being an authority about whatever this is, and essentially sharing yourself either with another person or um, with another person or with another group or community or with your family members in a new way. If you can share yourself and bring that more authentic um, part of yourself forward, you know, there's going to be so... I don't really like this word blessings. I don't know why. <laughs> I do like gifts. <laughs> But anyway, the word I'm getting is blessings. There's going to be so many blessings that will actually come towards you. But it all starts, first of all, where, like this center card here, I think it's really interesting, the Seven of Swords. Like I say, this is just where I say you've got to just not rebel against yourself. Don't rebel against what you know that you need to do for your success, okay? You'll know what this is and you need to really go with that. Cool, so now what we're going to do is pull two more cards. One, I'm going to pull um, from this deck because you know what? I just friggin' love the messages and I'll read it out for you. And then the second one is just for you guys to interpret and we'll choose a wild card which will be an archetype, okay? To give additional guidance. But let's just see what's going on. Whew. So your avatar. So essentially, the summation is, is your avatar is going to have... Um, it's going to have way more harmony within it. You're not going to be so rebellious internally about stuff. You're going to be more of an authority within an area of your life that you've actually felt maybe a bit weak or you haven't felt like you could express yourself. And um, it's definitely, you're going to be on show more. People are really going to see a new part within you and they're going to really like it and they're going to be really attracted to it. And you're definitely going to be way more in the limelight in whatever way that might be in whatever ever area of your life it is. So let's just have a look here. Um, but also, please just remember the way to success as well. Um, the way to massive success is this is make sure you take full advantage as soon as the opportunity comes in to make a move, to be more authoritarian about something or to be more honest about how you feel or whatever it might be. That's really, really important. Because like I say, if you leave it for life to push you, it's going to it's going to make things difficult. And you'll have also had a more difficult time getting up to the point where life pushes you. So that's one way as well that I can see you bringing more success in. And just making sure... The key thing for you guys would be sharing yourself. It's all about sharing yourself with others, with another special person, with a community, with your family. There's something about that that's really important. So let's have a look here. Which card do you get? Oh, nice. Just when we talk about sharing yourself. Big, great love. Cool, so let's see what it says. Okay, so key concepts, love without conditions, romantic love and how that experience changes you, deep and profound harmonious connections and soulmates. You see, it really is all about sharing yourself and connecting in with people 100%. Okay, love heals all wounds, uh, love heals all wounds, begins all life. It sustains you when you're starving for grace, when you stumble and fall, when you lose sight of your purpose and fall prey to the limited perspectives of the ego. Now is the time to fall in love and call in the awareness of the big, great love that, that made you, which is ever pulsing through your veins. There's a heightened sense of awareness in the beginning stages of a relationship where nothing else matters but who is in front of you. You see them, you see yourself in them and you move in sync 
with each other's hearts. You surrender to the magic you share and engage in a harmonious dance that is seamless in its movements, rising and falling with each moment, each breath. Although this card may pertain to such an intimate connection, you don't have to wait for a partner to experience it. You're being invited now to explore love and all its beauty. Can you love without conditions, without needing things to be perfect? Do you love your life, what you do and how you contribute to the world? You see, contributing to the world, I'm telling you, that's a really big deal as well for this pile. Today, invite love with a capital L into your inquiry. You will be amazed and your very question may be changed as a result. Love is the strength you need today, the lens you must look through to find the truth and your way. Love is the way, the only way and the only answer. So yeah, I just really just think this is this whole thing as well about coming out of your cave to do with whatever area of your life it is where you don't really want to usually put yourself forward or put your heart on the line or express yourself fully or whatever it might be like that. That's really, really important um, to you having an upgrade in your avatar and also to more success. So let's have a look, which is the archetype card. And I won't say anything, this is just for you guys, just to feel into yourself and add it in whatever way makes sense to you. Okay, so we have victim. <clears throat> so light attribute prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. Shadow attributes playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity, enable to maintain personal boundaries. Cool. So I hope you found that reading um, useful. Um, I just really just think totally just put yourself out there like, you know, you tap into that Aries energy, which is kind of like all putting itself forward, like confident in itself and also the Leo energy that literally wants to be the center of attention and like allows its light to shine out. So it magnetizes people to it. Um, you actually might find it useful on my other YouTube channel, See It Like a Psychic, to look at the highest potential of the Aries archetype and the highest potential of the Leo archetype, because that might give you a flavour of this sort of energy that your, you know, this new avatar part of you is going to want to bring into itself in 2021, and you'll get a feel for those kind of energies. I'll also leave a link for a blog post that I did on Give, Receive, Share and Grow, because I really feel that with the Six of Coins, and definitely because, you know, you contributing is such a big thing. Um, I think that might make sense and like I say for some of you it's for a big scale of people for some of you it's just like on a one-on-one -on -one intimate but it's about showing it's about sharing all of yourself with other people or with one special person so that is really really important and even yourself um, also check me out on YouTube um, on Instagram and I also have Facebook um, and then I actually now have my website as well so I'll leave those links all below but other than that I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you soon Bye. Hey guys, so this is for everybody that chose um, pile number um, three as holding their message um, for your 2021 archetype. Oh, sorry, your 2021 avatar. So how are you going to become the successes, what you can work with it, etc, etc. So first of all, let's just start with or we'll tune into the stone. Okay, so to be honest, as soon as my guides were like, this is pile three, pick it out, the shamanic mosaic, I just knew, I didn't know what to expect with this pile because I feel like there's something really expect, unexpected and there's something really hidden. Um, so there's something that I don't even know if you know as a part of yourself, which is going to actually start coming out um, and... And it's maybe something that you might have an idea about this like quality or attribute or you know dynamic within you, but it's something that maybe you've been able to easily avoid in the past. And I don't think it's it's not because there's anything bad about it at all. It's just because I just feel like it hasn't been the right time. 
it hasn't been the right time for you to kind of like step into this part of yourself and yet actually come leading up to 2021 and throughout all of 2021 so it depends when you watch this video it's actually um it actually becomes something that you thought was quite an understated part of you actually ends up becoming like a really really important part of you an important part of your life and I really don't know. You know what, guys? I'm just like, all I just know is this This is always my mystery stone, basically. This is always my mystery stone. And, it, and it's like a wild card, but it's like, I don't know. It's not like quite as bang in your face. It's more like subtle on the sidelines, but like, like curious and pulls you in. There's something really mystical, basically, about whatever this avatar change is going to be within you. So for sure, I need more information. I hardly ever cannot fully channel. <laughs> And I literally cannot fully channel with this one because it is just, there's something really mysterious about it. So let's pull this card and we'll take it from there and we'll see what we get. I'm excited. Wow. It's an interesting picture. So art is the first thing we get here. You see, you know that words that I said about there's something in it that kind of like is going to be like, and like like draws you in like pulls you in and then that kind of reminds me of this art piece here as well like just give me one second let me just really just feel into this one second <clears throat> it's so intriguing it's really intriguing You know what? I just need more cards. This is mental, guys. This never, ever happens to me. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so whatever this change is within you or how... I definitely think expecting the um, unexpected is going to be really, really important. And actually, that reminds me of... Um, you my guys might find it useful to watch another pick a card I have. It's about um, the nodes of the moon shifting into Gemini and Sagittarius because they're in there for basically all of 2021. So there's something quite important, I think, about whatever is an aspect within your Gemini, Gemini or, or Sagittarius parts of your chart. There's something about that that's playing through as well. So if you know your astrology, that might be useful. Um, let's have a look. Back. So what is this new super intriguing... <laughs> I feel like it's almost like you might have a complete um you'll be pulled in a completely new direction because you know what no 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 wait wait let me just wait let me just get these cards out let me just have some images guys guys just give me some images of some metaphors for this Okay, so the first thing that I'm seeing is I'm seeing um, somebody like um, horse riding, um, but like freestyle horse riding, so without a saddle or anything like that. Um, I'm also seeing a vision of like a whole load of flamingos, but like underneath the sunset. And actually the person that was on the horse was also riding in a sunset as well. So that to me means that you... You, there's been something that you ha has been hidden within you for quite a long time, but you have kind of been working on it, but it's never really been fully expressed in your life at all. So you'll know, you'll probably know about it and close friends or family might know about it, but nobody else really knows about it. But there's something about 2021 that is going to be building up momentum within you and you're going to be riding to that point of basically, um, it's, it's not quite like message two had this thing about showing itself yours isn't so much showing itself although ultimately you will draw a lot of attention to yourself through actually the culmination of you bringing out this thing that was hidden essentially but um people are going to be really they're going to be really drawn to you when you do do this Right, let's just see what we get. So no reverse, we're going to see. So we have three of coins, five of wands, 
Then we have the chariot and the wheel of fortune. Big energies there. Then we have six of flames, nine of feathers. Wow. We have third house, that's that Gemini energy again, and fourth house. Okay. Wow. Okay. Then we have this one that's about like um, infinite potentials. Oh, wow. And this is your cosmic soul blueprint. Okay. So this is exactly what I thought might happen with this pile. Like this is a big deal. What happens and how your avatar, how you see yourself and how the world sees yourself in 2021. It, it is, I don't know that it's so much a massive shift, but it's more like a massive unveiling is kind of like the words that I'm getting. It's a massive unveiling and it, um, It won't be easy for you to do, like it won't feel natural, but once you start doing whatever this is or stepping into this new characteristic for yourself or whatever it might be, it is gonna feel effortless. And that's the like the paradoxical thing within this. Um, and it's kind of like, It's really about just allowing yourself to be successful in, in some area of your life. So it'll be different for all of you. I always go through the main things. So it could be relationship, money, life purpose, creativity, leisure time, family, ancestral patterns, health, anything like that. There's something about that because because it's general reading, it'll be different for all of you. But you're actually going to... Um, you've gone through a lot of trials. You've like tried many, many different things in the past. Um, and actually, it's bringing to this place where you will actually become what it is that you set out to become. However, it isn't a straightforward ride, just principally because not everything has been fully veiled to you. So whenever you listen to this reading, whether it is in 2020 or some point in 2021... At the moment that you listen to it, still not everything has been revealed to you to do with yourself, okay? And I'm feeling like there is something that's really related in some kind of like sibling or, you know, from your childhood. That's definitely something that's kind of like playing into this dynamic in some way. And it's kind of like, let me just get this. For some of you, it's kind of like I see that a bond that you've had in childhood, either with a sibling or a friend or something like that, or even like a cousin or something like that, you've really, really bonded a lot and you've really, really supported each other a lot. However, there was something about it that became quite codependent in a way. And because it came codependent, you didn't actually use some of your own innate resources that you had because the other person was maybe more dominant with those. They kind of took over within your dynamic with those more. And so you grew up kind of repressing that part of yourself. But now you're coming to this place in 2021 where actually you're starting to realise that you have these abilities and skills that you didn't actually realise that you had or that you, you know, you could be this actual person in a certain way and it is really a part of you. It just got, it just got not so much repressed, but it just, it basically reminds, and my guides are showing me like a muscle. It was a muscle that got atrophied. So because you didn't really use this muscle growing up as an, and as a child, because somebody else in your immediate environment, so it could be anybody in your immediate environment. I'm just using siblings as an example or a friend as an example, but it could be anybody. Because somebody in your immediate environment basically already had a well-developed muscle in that area. Um, you didn't bother for whatever reason to activate yours. Maybe you just thought, oh well, they're better than me at it, or maybe you thought, oh, well, actually, they're taking care of that for me, or maybe you just thought, oh, I didn't even think about it, because somebody else was providing it for you, so you never questioned anything, but whatever that is, now come 2021, you're going to realise that um, this is, it is actually a massive part of who you are it's a massive part of who you are and like the example that my guys are giving me is um sort of like basically what happened to me in terms of honestly and I don't know how the hell this happened 
I really didn't realise that I was this psychic until my Saturn returns and then it smashed me and then I realised, oh my God, I can do the full spectrum of psychic from channeling to mediumship to seeing stuff to just every jocking thing. But how the hell, how the hell did I not know that I was like this? And it took me till I was 29 to be like this. It's like that kind of thing is like what I see is happening for you guys in a certain area of your life. Um, and, and for whatever reason, um, you know, like it never got cultivated or grew or like um, it never really got... Um, yeah, it never really got nurtured within you when you were young for whatever reason. And so now... Um, but now something happens in 2021 or it's already happening and you just realise, oh my God, this is a huge part of me and who I am and my identity. And it reminds me that it will be something surprising because it's kind of like here, I see like a businessman and then this is like art. So I'm seeing this as like, I don't know, one side of life that's really like strict and non-abstract and then the other side of life, which is really, really abstract. Although obviously we know business people are super abstract too, but just for this like metaphor, just like it's like two things side by side that seemingly don't go, but are actually really blended together. So it's something that you really didn't really realise about yourself or you might even have really liked the idea of it, but you thought, no, there's no way that's me. Um, because I can see there's been conflict in the past to do with it and that actually I don't think you've been heard correctly to do with something to do with whatever this is but going into the future as well it's just kind of like you take the lead like fate brings in a hand so you take the lead with the chariot and fate um, comes in with a hand of like a helping hand basically to kind of spur this part of for you on uh, within you on um, and then this, it just creates this whole incredible like beautiful part within yourself which is super super important that you are and that you express it um but there's something so curious about it because it really was hidden and it might even been a place where you had some fears it might even been a place where you had some fears because to be honest all the time when i was little i really didn't like being alone in the dark like because i felt like i could see things and like and obviously i didn't think it was anything to do with psychic i'm just thinking well, what my parents are saying, like overactive imagination or something at all like that. And and I did definitely have a fear over seeing things and things like that because, because it wasn't brought into the light when I was young and acknowledged as this is what it is. It therefore became some kind of like hidden repressed part of me. And therefore it came on with like quite a lot of fears and things like that. And I kind of get this feeling that that is going to be something similar-ish for you guys to do with whatever area of your life this is a to do with. Um, but actually it really is coming out. So one of the things that I really do feel as well, um, also I think it's really funny I couldn't channel <laughs> now that I can see that this reminds me of my whole experience of like no idea that I'm psychic basically because it's just like it's like a like a kind of a block it's sort of like a bit of a block that you've had to do with something um, but I do really see that this is going to be amazing coming forward and it's just going to bring you some um it's just going to bring so much of your power and yourself back. One thing that I do want to say, though, is there will be an integration process, right, of you, like, integrating these things. Because you can even see, I don't know if you can see, I love this card, it's so cool. You can see the two people here. It reminds me of their, like, coming together, right, as one. And then also here, kind of see, like, the artwork and you see the businessman kind of coming together as one. I do feel like there's going to be this part, there's going to be an integration part that's going to be going off as well once you uh, realise that you have this attribute so it could be anything right it could be like me it could be psychic it could be something like you realise that you're here to, you know something about you being a strong leader it could be um, something about um, realising that you're actually like a super I don't know compassionate person and maybe you're let's say uh, you're somebody that saw yourself as really really tough and like really really I don't know um, not vulnerable at all and then just something comes and happens and you realize oh my god but I am so full of compassion and I'm such a vulnerable person how the hell have I never really been expressing this before you know it's, it's something that's kind of like that so when the realization when it actually happens it will take a little 
bit of time to integrate um but you'll totally be able to do that and i think the main thing about it is just trusting the process and going with it and also if you're already starting to become aware of like these things that you didn't think were you but you actually starting to realize it is a part of you let's say the one example of like um uh, let me just be really stereotypical, really stereotypical, but it's just a metaphor that my guides are showing me. Like some guy that lifts loads of weights at the gym, that's really, really like ripped, that's like always really tough guy that gets themselves into fights, like anything like this. And then suddenly he's realizing over time, wait, but I've got this super soft, compassionate side. Like, oh my God, I actually, I really need, I need hugs. I can't believe that I didn't realize like it's so important that I have this kind of connection. And it just makes me feel really good to, I don't know, fill in the blanks, you know, that kind of thing. So, so that's kind of what I see going on. So even if you can feel that's been coming on now, just know that then the way for you to be more successful with this new avatar part of you, because it is an important part of 2021, is for you to, um, it's for you to actually like acknowledge it and bring it into the light. Number one, that's going to be really, really important. So acknowledge it to yourself, to friends, to family, to whoever, right? Because the more times that you acknowledge this and bring this out in the light to other people, and I do see this in a communication type way, particularly because we have third house here. Um, the when you communicate, and even as do you see this with family members? I know for all of you that won't necessarily be straightforward to communicate whatever this might be to family members but I do think it would be really useful there might be at least one person even if even if it's a dead relative and you do it in meditation okay because we all have mediumship abilities 100 percent um but you know even if it's that I think it's really really important that you express it to at least one person within your family lineage that you have a really close connection with um because you've got to bring it into the light and acknowledge it for it to start to integrate it's got to start to integrate within you so it can become part of your reality um and the more that you do that the more success that you will have because life has a lot of things that it wants you to do to receive or wants you to experience once you have integrated or at least acknowledge this part of you this part of you that previously hadn't really um hadn't really been accepted or hadn't been um hadn't been fulfilled within you you know hadn't been fulfilled within you and I do feel like whatever this is I don't still feel at the time of this reading that it's been fulfilled within you yet so whatever this thing is that you realize is a part of you or whatever and it's really important that it does get fulfilled within you within your life that's really really important um, because there's so many things that are going to come about as a result of you acknowledging this and bringing it into the light and sharing it with other people, right? That's something that's super, super important. Um, you know what's really interesting? Definitely part two had this, and I can't remember what was part one. Can't remember part one. Uh... Oh no, this was a bit different. But definitely pile two and pile three. You know, there really is this thing about like you've got to, you know, share something about yourself with yourself to other people. And it like I say, it really reminds me of this whole like Gemini, Sagittarius, where the nodes of the moon are currently at the moment. Um but that's important for your avatar. And definitely there's something really important for this group about like um and that was a bit like part two as well, actually, which is like blending yourself with something outside of you. So like um, once you know what this part of you is, it's sharing it with other people because other people can benefit from it and you can benefit from them benefiting from it. So if it's that whole compassion thing, like you sharing that with other people, it, they really benefit from you doing it. But you also really benefit from doing it because it's a part of you and it will be like well received from others. That's obviously just one example. Like you need to fill in the blank for, you know, what it is specific to you because obviously there's so many of you. But that is basically like the feeling of what this avatar is. Um, and it's really, really cool. And it's really exciting. I love the fact that it was so hidden and concealed as well. And I do really feel like, and I'll tell you the story of this stone as well in a minute, but I do really feel that, um, you know, it really is about, um, you know, it's maybe something that you've even had a little bit of fear about acknowledging within yourself that you actually might be like this. Um, yeah, like I did with like the whole psychic thing. 
it used to terrify me the thought of like anything like that I just I really hated it and to be honest even to this day now I just can't watch like um you know like poltergeist type films I just cannot do it I can't do it because it just sends everything crazy and I, and I just always think oh I'm way too close to that world naturally I don't want to I don't want to open the door to that space and that's even now right <laughs> so no matter where you're at there's always still time to be integrating some of these things which are maybe really potent parts of you but they have been hidden or concealed or they've not been acknowledged and brought into the light these are positive things by the way this isn't like a shadow part that you need to bring into the light this is like a real like gift within you that needs to be acknowledged and brought into the light um so yeah that's what I can totally feel. Now let me just tell you this because it kind of like fits into this a little bit. Um, when my guide said pick this with pick number three, I did think, oh, this will be really interesting. Because basically, when I um really randomly how I got uh basically basically like called to go on this shamanic course, because literally a shaman called me up the night before and was like, somebody's dropped out. I'm sorry, I've not spoken to you in absolute ages. I know this is weird, but will you come on the course? And I was just like, what? I mean, I didn't even expect it, but obviously I went. The thing was, you need to have loads of stones because it's part of your shamanic meze because you work with these when you do all of your different stuff. Um, and obviously I didn't have anything because I literally, she called me the night before and I had to turn up the next morning. And I was like, oh God. She was like, oh no, you need some stones. And I went to the loo <laughs> and really weirdly, there was just like this stone just completely standing by itself, like on this table, nothing on the table, just this stone looking at me. And I always remember being like, oh my God, I should just, that is totally supposed to be part of my shamanic meze. And like, I've not, I mean, it's just randomly been there and, you know, it just turned up at the perfect moment and it just felt like, it felt right. It felt right in the moment. So I really feel as well, like there's something about this as well that is going to feel so you and so right. Um, uh, and it will just feel so good to just kind of like, fully bring it into your life or fully even receive it in your life depending on which way it might be because it also might be about really receiving genuine compassion and love in a connection or um you know it could be anything like that because that's really only acknowledging the fact that you have real love and compassion in yourself too so um yeah just it will all be different for all of you but that's generally the theme and the feeling that i get about all of it and um, yeah, just make sure, um, don't hide from it. Don't try and hide from this. Because in all honesty, I don't really feel like you can hide from it. And a bit like pile two, if you try and hide from it, life will make things difficult until you are kind of, it forces you, it sort of forces you to kind of look at it. But this isn't a bad thing, it's not a painful thing, it's just about you stepping into more of who you really are. So um, it's actually an awesome thing, but I suppose the thing is just try not to resist it and to just go with it um, and to just realise that um, this really is like a part of your journey and of who you're becoming. And I just love this card. This feels like almost like the end result card for you guys for some reason. And I don't really know why. I just think it's awesome. I love it. And it's like all of that energy within you. You're becoming this whole new like nebula. And it's going to shock you and surprise you. And it's going to make your life awesome. Now, I'm just going to choose two more cards. One is, I'm just going to read it out of the book here. Because I love what this book says. It's really cool. And then the second one is just going to be a wild card. And it's going to be one of the archetype cards. And that's just for you just to interpret yourself. Okay? So, let's see. So, what else does message number three, oops, too many, need to hear? do with this let's have a look call of the muse oh, I love that picture okay let's have a look see what it says so call of the muse key concepts creative expression being in the flow of creativity, tuning into inspiration, allowing creativity without being self-conscious, writing and journaling as a means of connection. 
When you feel the call of the muse, you are being invited to create, to be the artist choreographing your life, serving on behalf of the great artist, divine source. While the process feels intensely personal, your ego and self-identification are, ironically, the most unnecessary parts of the equation. While you think while you might think you, you you own the magic of your creativity, can you truly say you're the source of the inspiration? Similar to the spirit of the genius from card 29, imagine your creativity stemming from another spirit guide, the muse. Just as the genius needs to partner with your intellect, so too does the muse need to open your heart and let magic flow through your intuition and emotions. Stop seeing yourself as the centre of the process. Instead, see yourself as a partner in a creative dance. Sometimes you might be inside the music and the feelings, the story and its expression. Other times you observe from the sidelines, watching it all flow from an unknown yet deeply intimate source. Today your muse is calling you to be a channel and allow the creative energy to flow through you. The energy of emotion is waiting to be given a voice, a name, a shape or a colour. Journal, finish that writing project, start something new, paint, sing, dance and don't worry where any of it lands. It has its own plans for you. Your muse knows where this is all meant to go. For you, the big ma magic is in the experience of answering the call. You know what I really feel with that? It's the answering the call thing. It's totally and utterly that. Um, it's totally, totally that. It's like whatever, and I feel like it's a call that you haven't answered previously that has been there, even though you might never have noticed that it was there. But like now, it's going to become really obvious that life is calling you to, to, to be this thing in your life. Um, and it's about going with it 100%. So now let's just have a look here. Which is your card? Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually a non one. They're just, I never really even know what these are for. You see, this is the thing. There's still something hidden. There's so something hidden. <clears throat> I'd actually be really interested in the comments below if you think you know what this is with you to hear what it is at whatever time or even later in the future. Let's pull another one. Okay, Angel. So, uh, light attributes, helping those in need with no expectation of return. Shadow attributes, acting innocent or angelic to mislead others. Falsely claiming to be in touch with the angelic guidance. I'm just going to leave that there. Cool, so I hope you found that useful. Um, I do, yeah, just really, really trust. Just, just trust with all of this and just go with it and know that it is really time for you to, you know, just answer that call. Answer that call, which is so part of your soul. It'll be so different for every single one of you, but you'll feel what that is. Um, whether it's a call to do something, to be someone, to say something, you know, it could be anything. Um, and it really is about allowing yourself, allowing yourself to... Oops, I'm not totally sure when that video just clunked off then. Uh, sorry, my battery just went. But anyway, um, yeah, it just really is about you... Um, just stepping into who you really are basically stepping into who you really are it's something that's been with you since childhood which has never really been acknowledged it's an important part of who you are and you need to use it to get where you're going to go and um it's just about trusting trusting that call and going with it and it's all going to work out well so i hope you enjoyed that reading um you can also follow me on instagram and facebook i have stuff on there I also have a website below if you'd like readings or anything like that. And um, 
and yeah I just um, and I also got to see it like a psychic another YouTube channel where I've got lots of psychic information on there so you might find that useful but um, allow yourself to just start bringing this whole other part of yourself into the light and sharing it with other people I think that's the key bit so cool see you soon bye